Hey Phoenixies, welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, after getting so many requests to make photo frame, today I finally decided to make this beautiful gold metallic antique style photo frame for you all. And it's just made out of some cardboard and all. So it's very easy. So without any further ado, let's get started. Alright so here I am starting with this cardboard and this is the piece which you can take it's basically a photo and you can just take it and just draw some lines using the measurements. So now you can see this is how it looks now you will just take the scale and pencil and make a slight little border line over here as you can see leaving some space. This way. So now once this is done, you'll take the scale and you'll take 2 cm each from each of the sides and then you just have to draw the lines and you have to repeat this on all the 4 sides 1 cm each. You can of course take measurements according to you as well but this is what I decided to make so if you are going to make this you can use this 1 cm each and then you have to just circle the outlines over here because we are going for the oval shape so you have to do this on both the sides. Now as you can see this is the shape I get over here now I'll just take it and cut it out so this is the border we are going to make and now I'll just take it using some white plain paper I'll just cover this up so I'm using my paintbrush to just spread the glue evenly and I'll just cover this then I'll take my cutter and I'll make this cross sign or plus sign whatever you see over here then I'll just cut that out and over here I've just made some cutouts tiny little cutouts and I'll use my brush to spread it out the glue and then I'll stick it So after covering that, I'll take this beautiful foam stripe and I'll just stick it over here on the borders. So the reason I'm taking this is because it's a very 3D looking thing and also it will just clear the edges properly. So now I've taken this needle and thread. Alright so once the beads are nicely stuck over here as you can see this is how it looks. Now I'll take this beautiful cardboard and I'll just use my scissors and I'll cut this out like this. And then I'll just cut out these leaves. So this will be a flower and it's really very really easy to make so now you just have to use your fingers and you have to fold it in this way. So now you just have to glue this over here. So this is how you get this beautiful cardboard rose. Now this is how it looks similar way I've made more of them. Now I'll take the same cardboard and I'll just cut out a leaf shape over here. So this is what I get right now. Now as you can see I'll just take this white plain paper and I'll just make a coiling. Now I'll just use my brush and I'll just slightly pull these coilings and give the shape. So now I'll just put this stripe over here as well, just a slight little part. Alright, so this is how it looks. Now I'll take this paper buds and as you can see it's also made out of cardboard so let's see how this is made so I'll just take a cardboard I'll draw this design and I'll just use my pencil to fold it out and now once that is done I'll take this glue and I'll just 
fold it into a coiling. Buds are now ready. Now you can just pull the leaves outwards a little bit and this is how the buds are completed along with the flowers and leaves. Now you just have to take your tweezers, make a hole in the bud and the flowers and you have to stick this over here this way. So once you're done doing this for all of the flowers, now what I'll do is that I'll take my tweezers and I'll just make some lines over here on the leaves. So as you can see this is how it looks. Then I'll just fold the leaves using my pencil and now I'll start applying this to the design that I have in my mind. And of course this is a freehand design so you can make anything you like. And now just very nicely you have to start sticking these designs. So now let's turn and do it on the same side and let's stick some leaves as well. Alright so now the design is done as you can see. Now what you have to do is that you have to take some paints and start painting it into this completely black acrylic paint and of course you can use fabric paints instead. And you have to paint this completely with black acrylic paint. Just to give that metallic effect, we'll use some golden hint afterwards. So now as you can see, this is how it looks after it gets dried. Now I'll take this beautiful golden metallic color. It's a metallic dust used with glue and water. And I'll take my sponge and I'll start just rubbing it a slight little paint onto the designs. Just to give that embossing effect, I'll just do that. Make sure you don't use the complete paint. You just have to dab it on the design just so you can get that beautiful metallic antique look. So now this is how it looks as you can see after getting dried. And it isn't so beautiful. Now what you'll do is that you'll take this photo and again you'll just and again you'll just mark out the lines over here and then stick these cardboard thick cardboard stripes just to give the photo a little balance and that you have to do on three of the sides. Now you can stick this cardboard cutout, white cardboard cutout on the back side just to cover this part. So tada, now it's ready. Now let's make the stand. So again I'm using this white cardboard and I'll just fold it like this from each of the sides. Then I'll just glue it over here on the back. And then I'll apply this white paper just to secure it enough. And then I'll just fold that backwards. And let's insert this picture and tada, the photo frame is finally ready guys. And guys don't forget I'm gonna make few more parts for different style photo frames so if you want to see that make sure you stay tuned and subscribe to my channel till next time bye bye